Welcome to Spirit Week. And you're supposed to dress like your classmates, but we're dressing family together alike, so Haley's here to help me. We're going to do some STEM projects for you um, for aftercare. So what I did is took a bottle, filled it with water, and put it in the freezer for about three to four hours. I did add a little food color so you could see it a little bit better. So this experiment is when you bang this, this bottle will automatically totally freeze up. As you can see, the water is still moving around even though it's been in the freezer for three to four hours. So Haley's going to demonstrate. She's going to bang it really hard. Really? Okay. Does it work? And you can see that it's super freeze. There's ice crystals all through this. It's super froze. The liquid that's in there is below freezing and when you bang it, the liquid is unstable and hitting it causes it to freeze harder. You'll still have a little bit, but it becomes more solid on the inside than seeing all the water move around. Now, another thing you can do with this, the little bit of excess water, Haley's gonna pour some into this cup. <laughs> well, it's not supposed to do that, but. Anyway, if you dip a grape in there, it's supposed to freeze with crystals around it. Now, we found if it sat for a while, the crystals would grow. Um, but that's something, again, STEM doesn't always happen to work. We try our best. So, And also, if you freeze a little plate of water and you add some super freeze, you can start to grow crystals. Which, that didn't work either. So, experiments don't always work the way you think they're going to work. But we tried. But if you leave your, your grape in there for a while, it will get crystals growing on it. And then you'll have a super cold grape to eat. So, that's our experiment for this one. Our next one is... We're going to make it rain. So you take a jar, three quarters full of water, and then you're going to take shaving cream. These are all the products in your house. Um, Haley's going to put some drops into food coloring drops into the water so you will be able to see this. So what you do is you shake up the shaving cream and you fill the top of the the jar and what the shaving cream represents is the clouds. When you saturate the clouds with a lot of water, that's what causes the raindrops to come through. Once the clouds get soaking wet, they'll drop raindrops. So Haley's going to wet this closer and you'll be able to eventually see once the, the cloud is super wet that raindrops are going to fall down through the water because the cloud has become she's saturating it so it will start to drop through and you can do this with rainbow colors you can do more than one color we just did the blue she's going to keep saturating the the cloud with the, the moisture and it will start to come down so sometimes it takes a while for the clouds to get full of moisture, but once they do, that's when it releases the raindrops. Now they're just starting to come through. I don't know if you can see this on the video, but now the cloud has been soaking wet and it's releasing the raindrops and you can see them dropping through. 
So these are all things that you can find in your house to use to make uh, an experiment. This one's rain, even though we might be a little bit tired of all the rain, but these are some fun things you can do with things around the house. So thanks for joining in, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.